So it's been a while since we've been in the shop, uh, months actually, and so sometimes life just happens, right? So thankfully we're back into it. Um, got lots of projects to get caught up on. Today I'm going to be introducing you guys to what I call my legacy build series, um, which hopefully this will turn out really well. Hopefully it'll honor some people. So basically where this whole story stems from, um, it's actually kind of sad but kind of funny at the same time. So years ago my dad passed away. Total bummer, right? Uh, he had a whole bunch of denim jeans, Wranglers, stuff like that. And it's not uncommon for people to take those things and make them into like a quilt or a blanket or something. I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do that. That'll be awesome. I'll take this stuff, I'll, I'll make sure I remember how to sew. Unfortunately, through some miscommunication, all of his pants uh, were given away. They were donated to a good cause. There was some storm surge back east and they donated them to all that. So, okay, cool. At least they went to a good cause. But it kind of broke my heart. I had this idea and couldn't make it happen. And so that kind of birthed this whole idea of this whole legacy build series. Like what, what can you do to honor somebody and take something that was theirs that like, okay, maybe their kids or their spouse are really not gonna be able to use it, right? And so if you can take something of that person who's passed away, of that loved one, and make it into something new and something usable and kind of rebirth a life back into it that would have such meaning that they can just go forth and just be like, you know, put a smile on their face which leads me to today's build. So what I have over here, down below, I don't even know if the camera's gonna go down that way. What I have over here is an old railroad cart. Not that that had anything to do with anybody, but I found these things the other day that were really cool, picked up a handful of them. But what's neat is the wood on the top. So this wood right here is actually black walnut. So years ago, uh, there was a gentleman that we know, know the family, uh, died in a very tragic uh, logging accident which was kind of brutal. He had milled all this black walnut years and years ago. Um, so his wife gifted it to me, just out of the blue. Uh, just showed up at the house through her son-in-law and was like, absolutely, I'll take that. And I thought, what would be something really cool to be able to make for her that would be able to honor her late husband and hopefully put a smile on her face and allow her to just enjoy his memory a little bit more. And so I have these old railroad carts, these old luggage carts, uh, gonna need a little bit of work just to get that fixed up. And I figure, let's go ahead and take this black walnut, incorporate it into that luggage cart and see if we can't make her a really nice looking coffee table. So join me on this journey and we'll see how it goes. Yay, it's all taken apart. Uh, so now what I plan on doing is we're actually gonna sand this a little bit. There's a whole bunch of loose stuff. Um, I think I can save these outside boards. The middle one's gonna have to replace. That one fell apart pretty easily when, uh, when I was disassembling everything. But it'd be nice to kind of use the original wood as much as possible. So we're gonna do a light sanding, uh, try to knock off all the loose junk. Obviously this can be a coffee table in somebody's house. You don't want things uh, just dirt and sand falling off all over your uh, living room carpet. So we'll do a little bit of sanding to it, clean it up, maybe even put a little bit of stain on it once we start getting it all put back together, kind of see how it looks. Same thing with the metal pieces. I'll go ahead and take those, uh, take a wire brush to them, knock off all the loose rust and everything, see if we can't kind of, again, maintain the patina of it, uh, but yet clean it up a little bit so it'll actually look uh, pretty good in her living room. Okay, this is that inside piece that's all messed up. We're gonna go ahead and sand it so I can put some stain on it in different places so we can see 
how the stain might affect these other things. So this will just be a test piece. Starting from my lightest all the way to the darkest, we'll do some samples, keep track of which ones are which, let them dry and see, uh, see what things look like. So this was that sample board that we took out of the middle where we did the lighter to darker on the stains. What I think I'm going to go with is actually the one right here in the middle. It just seems like it'll probably work. I want to keep it a little bit lighter just because that top with that dark walnut is actually going to be obviously darker. And so I thought it might look kind of nice if there's a little bit of contrast there. So we'll go ahead and use uh, driftwood for our stain and we'll go ahead and get these pieces here stained up. That way they can be off driving and then we can start uh, reassembling some of this stuff.
we're finally there. Um, got the cart pretty much done as far as all the old stuff on the cart. A lot of fun, a lot more work than I thought it would be. Um, presented itself some challenges, but that's what's cool about working with old stuff is a lot of times things aren't always square. They don't always even out. Um, and so you just got to make it work. So really happy the way that this has turned out so far. Uh, no longer all rickety, like it's going to fall apart. So it's nice and solid. So a good base. And now for the fun part where we actually get to take some of that wood that he had milled uh, back when he was alive and put it as a surface on the top. And I think that'll be really cool. That'll be the part that you see. So with that walnut, we're gonna look through it. We're gonna try to find some pieces that really have a lot of saw cuts in them, uh, cause that's what he did. Uh, you know, being a logger and milling wood, that's just kind of indicative of who, who he was and what, what he did to provide for his family. So we'll go through those pieces, try to find some that you can really see some of those saw marks on it. Um, see if we can't preserve some of that and we'll cut them up to make a nice top for this table or cart, whichever way uh, she plans on using it. Okay, here we are doing another test piece. This is actually some of that walnut. So we're gonna see how the stain turns out on this. So again, going from the lightest color to the darkest. So, so far, I'm really excited the way this stuff's turned out. Uh, walnut cut up really nice. I don't know how well you can see it on the film, but a lot of the saw cuts were able to save those. Uh, looking really really good so i still need to clean these up uh, what i'm afraid of is i don't want to take any uh mechanical or like electronic sanders to them uh i think it'll take too much of the original saw cuts out so i'm going to try to just clean it up by hand uh again knock off all that dust and stuff from this thing sitting out for a long time clean it up a little bit and then i've got some stain like an experiment board going on to see which color stain i'm going to put on this i'd really like to bring out it's kind of got a red hue to it which is really cool so i'd like to darken it up a little bit and yet also bring out that that rich red color so we'll start sanding these down a little bit very little bit uh, and get them all prepped up so we can stain them here in a while that's showing up on camera man isn't that cool see all those milling marks okay i don't know that that could have turned out any better i absolutely love the way that the saw marks are even more revealed than they were before uh just a little bit of sanding just did wonders. I have no idea if that's showing up on camera. I'm horrible with lighting anyway. I'm sure there's shadows all over the place that there shouldn't be, but anyway, really, really happy the way that that turned out. Talking to my partner in crime, <laughs> the son-in-law, uh, he said her decor is very rustic. So we're, we're trying to preserve a lot of that. So no gloss. We're not going to put like a shellac over the top of this or like a bar top epoxy would look really cool, would make it pop even a little bit more, but this is turning out absolutely fantastic. So we're still waiting on the, uh, the sample board of the stains to dry to see if it's gonna be worth putting a stain on here. Um, I would still like these to be just a touch darker, uh, but I really don't wanna screw it up. So we'll see how that sample board turns out. But really, really happy, really, really happy the way all this stuff turned out. Looking fantastic. Okay, and the winner is that one there. So we are actually gonna use a dark walnut stain on walnut wood. Don't know how well that is, but that looks amazing. Absolutely amazing.
Okay, not sure if you saw what happened here, but this wood actually started to split. I didn't catch it at first, but if you watch the video, you'll see this actually separate. So we're gonna make a little hidden repair right here. So we use these drywall screws and recess them. So I think I realized what happened here. This screw has got to be hitting that bolt right there. So I'm pretty sure that that's what was happening is that it was actually hitting that right there. So what I plan on doing is I'll just cut this off. Just needs to bite a little bit. We've got multiple screws on this corner piece, um, but that way it'll still look good there. So we'll cut it off right about there. All right, so we cut it down. It'll still bite, but now it shouldn't hit that bolt there. That's it, we're done. Uh, what an awesome project, super happy the way this turned out. Uh, I'll take some detailed shots to show you here at the end, but uh, what a treat. Uh, couldn't have hoped for this to turn out any better than what it did. Absolutely fantastic. So I hope she will enjoy it, whether she uses it as a table, as a cart, or just something to completely bury underneath boxes, won't matter. Um, hopefully it's something that's a blessing for her.